Thanks very much. Thanks for being here. Um, first of all, yes, my name is Ryan King. I'm the Vice President of Corporate Development and Investor Relations for Caliber Mining, which is a, a growth-focused gold producer uh, in Central America, and now recently announced a deal with Fiore Gold to acquire gold production and some growth opportunities in Nevada. And I'll walk through some of the slides here in this presentation to see what the uh, upside opportunity could be from here. Of course, I'll make uh, forward-looking statements. Uh, please take the time to do read that in your own time and, uh, and uh, get the details of, of both the Fiore and Caliber assets. So a combination of Caliber Mining and Fiore Gold, and I'll just kind of give a little bit of history here. Caliber Mining is a relatively new gold producer. Uh, in 2018, we restructured the company from just a pure exploration company to, uh, to go out and buy production. And uh, we were successful in doing that in 2019. We acquired two operating gold mines in Nicaragua from B2 Gold through cash and shares. B2 Gold is our largest shareholder at 32% before the announced deal with Fiore Gold. But um, over the last two years, we've optimized these assets. One of them, we call the Libertad operation, was actually heading towards closure. And so now we've been able to optimize, we've been able to increase production. In 2020, we produced 136,000 ounces. In 2021, this year, we're guiding 170 to 180,000 ounces of production at roughly $1,100 all in sustaining costs. So we've been reinvesting in these assets. We've implemented what we call a hub and spoke operating strategy to utilize the in installed processing capacity in those mills. But as you can see here, now with the acquisition of Fiore Gold, um, over the next two years, analysts are guiding about 240 to 250,000 ounces of, uh, of annual gold production at roughly $1,000 all in sustaining costs. And you can see here that uh, a significant portion of capital will be allocated to exploration, which hasn't been done over the last couple of years. So we haven't come out with budgets or guidance on that yet. But in Nicaragua over the last two years, we've been spending between 10 and $20 million. We currently have 15 rigs operating across all of the assets. So this is very exciting from a growth perspective because we have the installed capacity at those mills to process additional tons. One of the mills, in fact, 2.2 million tons of processing capacity we only use at 50%. So on a pro forma basis, we'll have about $100 million in cash, no debt, we'll, we're unhedged. And just a little uh, background of the team. So this team has done this before. Our previous entity was called New Market Gold, where we had a publicly traded vehicle. Again, we went out to buy gold production. And we were successful in doing that in 2015. We acquired three operating mines in Australia, the same team that's involved in caliber mining. We were successful in discovering one of the highest grade underground gold mines in the world called Fosterville. And then we financial engineered a deal with Kirkland Lake. And post that deal, uh, the Kirkland Lake share price went up almost tenfold. So it was very successful in financial engineering a deal to unlock value. I won't go through the terms of the transaction here, but uh, this is ma majority of this is a share deal. So it's a share in cash deal, 10 cents a share in cash. The pro forma company will be 78% caliber, 22% Fiore Gold ownership. It's anticipated to close in January the 10th in around the, uh, the first part of the, uh, the month of, or the first part of the quarter of 2022. Some of the benefits to different shareholders, uh, both Caliber and Fiore see the, the significant benefits. So Caliber being a single asset, single country operator currently, Pro Forma will have uh, operations and production cash flow in Nicaragua or in Nevada, 40 to 50,000 ounces a year to start, but some great development stage growth opportunities with nearby assets called Gold Rock, which has had a, a, pre a preliminary economic study completed on it. It shows about 50 to 60,000 ounces a year for seven years initially. Um, so we see opportunities there to grow that, and I'll talk a little bit more about that, but some of the benefits there to the, uh, the Fiore shareholders is the unlocking of value through a 44% premium to their share price on October 22nd. Uh, as well as exposure to 170 to 180,000 ounces of production, no debt, clean balance sheet, and roughly 100 million in cash to unlock value and future growth. So, Pro Forma Caliber will be a diversified gold producer, as I've mentioned, in Nicaragua, 
as well now as in Nevada, which is a tier one mining jurisdiction. Talked briefly about this Gold Rock project, so we see opportunities to unlock value and potentially, over the next couple of years, double annual gold production out of Nevada through the Gold Rock project. Uh, El Limon and, and La Libertad in Nicaragua, as I said, produce about 170 to 180,000 ounces of gold production this year. We'll, you'll see analyst consensus over the next couple of years where that could go. Here on this slide, it's showing the pro forma production profiles over the next couple of years, as well as you can see the yellow arrow, arrow pointing up for these are some of the development stage or growth opportunities that we can self-fund through operating cash flow as well as our balance sheet. So no need to go back to the market for any additional capital. And then the pro forma gold reserves and resources significantly increasing by uh, putting these two companies together. So very briefly, I've only got about three minutes. Uh, I'm in C9, that's the booth uh, for one-on-one -on -one meetings, so feel free to come by for a meeting. But a little bit on our hub and spoke strategy. You can see some of the spokes there that we now haul material to either one of these mills. As I mentioned, the La Libertad mill is only being used at 50% capacity. It would require no additional capital to fill that mill. We're just looking for additional sources to feed into that mill. And so there's a lot of low cost organic growth potential by doing that. And in the next couple of years, we see grade increasing, mill feed increasing at that mill. And that's why we have, uh, we've, we've told the market there will be additional production coming out of Nicaragua over the next couple of years. But this, um, this strategy has really been employed over the last two years by our CEO, Darren Hall, who was at Newmont for over 25 years. And his role at Newmont was to optimize assets throughout the world in Nevada, in Peru, in Indonesia, and now he's doing it again with Caliber Mining as our CEO and unlocking value through this hub and spoke approach. At the same time here, we've got 15 rigs, as I mentioned, operating across all of the different centers you see there. Uh, resource expansion and discovery drilling underway currently, and just recently we announced a new discovery at our Libertad property less than five kilometers from the operating mill. Just a little brief overview in Nevada. You can see there in the bottom uh, left the pan operation. This is 40 to 50,000 ounce a year of gold production, uh, heap leach gold production. The red areas there are their resources and reserves. The yellow are targets that have been delineated through geochemistry or structural analysis. So here's one of the opportunities for Caliber with a strength and balance sheet, additional operating cash flow. We will start to deploy rigs on some of those targets to see what the exploration potential could be at PAN. And then also at Gold Rock. The team at Fury have done a really good job of advancing uh, uh, this Gold Rock project through PEA working towards a feasibility study, but again, we see upside opportunity through all those new yellow targets that have been identified through their team. So before we advance that project through to production, we'll look at the scope and the scale and the additional opportunity that could be there uh, at Gold Rock. And finally, with this transaction, we acquired two million ounces of measured and indicated resources in Washington. Uh, the team has uh, put together this resource over the last uh, couple of years. We see really good optionality and opportunity here to advance this project as well because of the strength and balance sheet and the fact that we do generate some great operating cash flow to put some capital work on this project. We'll do a little bit more work to understand what the scope and scale is here as well as potentially look at uh, advancing this, uh, advancing this co potentially collectively with partners in the area. You can see Kinross is there, Hecla is around us. So there's additional opportunities here with, uh, with regards to this Golden Eagle project. I won't go through the, uh, the consensus here on production and cash flow, but feel free to come by and see me later. As well as one of the big opportunities here is where we're trading at on a value basis, an EV per ounce of production basis on a pro forma. You can see we're trading about 2,300 per ounce for 2022 versus our peer group. You can see there and the average is $5,000 per ounce. So with execution, exploration success, we see a really good opportunity for re-rate potential here with the pro forma caliber mining. I won't go into our social uh, a license to operate or sustainability. Again, please feel free to come by and have a, have a chat with me about that. And finally, investment highlights, all of which I've talked about. Clean balance sheet, lots of exploration upside, 240 to 250,000 ounces of annual production. Thank you very much.